Father, thank you for your precious word. Teach us once again in the name of Jesus. Uh, briefly today, the Lord will teach us on uh, potential. Potential. Your potential is God's seed of greatness in you. Your potential is God's seed of greatness in you. Your potential is anything planted in you by God that is capable of turning you into a star in your generation. Your potential is what determines your potency in life. It determines your effectiveness in life. Your potential is God's transformational gift to you. Your potential have the power to transform you and others if you work on it. Your potential is a raw material that needs to be refined. Refining your potential have to do with giving yourself to learning and training. Refining brings your potential into a finished state. Your potential are your inbuilt abilities. If you must fly higher in life, then you must discover your potential. Your potential fuels your movement in purpose. Potential is the grace that makes you move smooth and fast in purpose. Your potential is what positions you in a place of honor. You can't become a honorable. You can't become an honorable without activating your potential. Your gift defines your potential. You are not born to make it. You are born to find it and build it. Your potential is not your making. It is God's making. Your potential is your valuable asset. God kept it hidden in you because of its value. Things of high value attract high protection. Things of high value demands high protection. It is God's duty to bless you with a potential, but it is your own duty to locate, develop, and make an effective use of it. Until you start blessing others through your potentials, you can't meet the giving expectation of the giver. God turns man into a blessing too through potential. He gave, he gave it to, he gave it to you so that you will be. God turns man into a blessing tool through potential. He gave it to you so that you will be a blessing to others. Your potential have the power to lead you to your peak in life. Many end up in the pits because they miss their peak. Many end up in the pits because they miss their peak. Potential is a personality changer. It can move you from the bottom to the top if you work on it. Your potential is that thing you can do, not necessarily because you, are, you, you learnt it, but through natural abilities. Each time you put your potential to work, somebody somewhere and somehow will surely be blessed and saved through that. That's because the primary reasons God gives gift to men is to bless others. You may not know you are a blessing to others until you start using your potential. You may not know you are blessing others, but the truth is that you are a blessing because you are, you are putting your potential to use. As you keep developing and making an effective use of your potential, your impact in the lives of others will be so strong that they will have to come to you and confess that you are a blessing. Avoid discrimination in the usage of your God-given potentials. Joseph interpreted the dreams of the two slaves, and one of the slaves linked him to the king. Can you see that? Everybody should be blessed because anybody can bless. Everybody should be blessed because anybody can bless. God can use anybody to help somebody. The earlier you discover your potential and use it, the, the faster your journey to the palace becomes. 
Your potential is a living thing. It can grow through, through proper learning and it can die through indiscipline. Your potential is intentional, not accidental. You don't have it by mistake. It is a product of God's deliberate plan. When God said, let us make man, he was also saying, let us create potentials. Every created creature is a bag of wonders. That is why even you cannot predict your abilities. You are potential loaded. Potential is not earthly gift. It is heavenly. It is not manly, but godly. Men don't give potentials. Only God does. I pray the Lord will give us grace to make use of our potentials in the name of Jesus.